Now, when I first heard the call from Spirit, my children were little, I did not have very much money, I was teaching at a university, and I would say to Spirit, well, maybe when my children are a little bit older, then I'll be able to say yes. Maybe when I have enough money, maybe when I have enough time. And of course, you can never ever say no to Spirit. You cannot say no to God. When you say no to God, then things begin to go wrong in your life. And after everything in my life started to go wrong, I finally said, yes, yes, I'm ready. I may not have enough time, enough money, enough sleep. My children may not be old enough, but yes, I'm here. I can be counted on. And then my life began to work. Then my life began to fall into place in a magical way because I said yes to spirit. I responded to the call in the same way that hummingbird does. And at that point, I also began to feed myself only from the nectar of life. Before that, I was angry, I was resentful, I was upset with people, I was arguing with my partner. And I had all of these terrible habits of engaging people at their worst. And the worst of these, of course, was the anger that I felt even towards spirit, even towards God. I thought God to be unfair. Look at all the suffering in the world. And when I said yes, I understood. I understood my place in this great journey. 